who else went a little hog wild during the Sephora VIB sale? <laughs> I'm totally guilty, which is funny because I'm filming this on Cyber Monday. And I had a good old time with Cyber Monday as well. <laughs> to get started, I did go ahead and pick up the other body oil from Elizabeth and James in the Nirvana White. I purchased the Nirvana Black during the Friends and Family sale. And I really like the oil, so I went ahead and I purchased the white as well, and I've been mixing them together. I was a little hesitant at first about them because I wanted to put them on like my arms and stuff at nighttime for moisturization, but I was worried it was going to be too overpowering. And mixed together on my arms, for it's the perfect amount of fragrance. It's not overpowering, but I can still smell it. And I love mixing them together and putting them on my body at nighttime. And this is actually a, a more thick oil. I, I've been loving the NARS Minoy oil for quite a while, and that one's a little bit more um, runny. These ones are thicker, but they still feel really nice on the skin, so I'm happy that I got them because I'm, I'm just obsessed with the smell. Like right before bed, just a nice hint of the fragrances mixed together. It's really awesome. Along those same lines, I picked up the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Hand Cream. I haven't used this yet. It's been sitting in the bottom of the box and <laughs> waiting for me to do this haul. I should have busted it out earlier so I could give you guys an opinion on it, but the reviews on these are really good. I wanted to pick up the white as well because again, I like to mix these fragrances, but they were sold out of the white one. So when that one comes back in stock, I'm going to go ahead and probably purchase that. Should I put some of this on my hands right now? Typically, this is what I do. I put it, um, Put some on the back. Oh, it's kind of a thicker cream, which is good because the, the backs of my hands really get dry in the winter time. And then I, because I don't like lotion like on my fingertips, so I just go like this with my hands back. Oh, this does feel really nice. It's thicker than I had thought it was going to be. And it's not overpowering either. I also purchased another one of the Josie Marin Argan Daily SPF 45 moisturizers. This is the big four fluid ounce bottle. I went through my other one already, <laughs> so I went ahead and took advantage and bought another one during the sale. This has a pretty high SPF at 47, and it treats my skin really nice. I've been using it for quite a while, and I've been really enjoying it. Another product that I had been looking at for quite a while and was excited that I could get it during the sale was the Foreo uh, Luna Mini. I have got the Foreo Luna in the full size version and I've been using it for I want to say around three years. I've been using it for a very long time. Like when I compare, because I've gotten questions about this, the the Foreo and the Clarisonic, the best way for me to describe it is the Foreo will buff your skin and the Clarisonic will scrub it. So this is just a lot more gentle on my skin and I can use it every day and I just absolutely love it. So I wanted a smaller one to travel with and then also this one was where they gave a portion of the proceeds to the sea turtles and I love the color because blue is like one of my favorite colors and it has the turtles on there and I think it's so cute so this is a good one. I've actually been using this instead of my other one currently but it'll be a great one for traveling. I had to go get this next thing out of my purse. It's the Beauty Blender Blotterazzi little situation. My mom actually bought this first and I had kept looking at it and looking at it and I just you know, shoved it aside like I don't need that. But I do carry around a little, like, blotting paper. I think it's an e.l.f. one. Anyway, she really liked this, so I went ahead and bought it during the sale as well. And I haven't actually used the little sponges inside yet because I haven't had, like, a grease problem when I've been traveling. My skin's been dry. But I have used the mirror. And my mom has used these little sponges, and she really likes it. It doesn't take off her makeup, but it takes away the oil. So I like the new Clinique Quick Liner for Lips Intense that I got in Intense Hibiscus, which I hauled a couple videos ago. I've got it on my lips right now, that pinker one. But I like that one so much that I went ahead and purchased two of the other shades. And I got number one, Intense Sassafras, and number seven, Intense Blush. And this is what the pencils look like. So this is Intense Sassafras number one. Right there. And then the other one is a number, what did I say? Number seven, Intense Blush. Both kind of nude shades. Side by side they look very similar. <laughs> the Sassafras is warmer. <laughs> I love the Buxom Big and Sexy Bold Gel Lipstick that I purchased in Guilty Angel so much that not only did I buy another one of them for, because I wanted one for in here because I carry the other one around in my purse and use it a ton, um, but I also picked up five more <laughs> and I didn't pick up the matte ones. I picked up the, uh, these are the, there's two different finishes. There's the matte one and I think these ones are called the satins. I picked up another Guilty Angel. This is a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. 
And this is the one that started my little obsession because I've worn it so much and I wanted one for inside my room here. And then the other colors I got are Poison Nectar, which I've worn this one as well and I love it. I think I've worn them all. So that one's Poison Nectar. This one's Coral Confession. I guess I didn't wear this one. I swatched these I don't know how many times in the store and then finally when the sale hit I just bit the bullet. <laughs> so that one's Coral Confession. And then this next one is Rebel Rose, and I've worn this one. I think this was the one I wore in a video or two ago. Love this color. It's really, really beautiful. So that one's Rebel Rose. This next one is Pink Coquette. I've worn this one as well. Which is right there. These have a, a slight uh, vanilla scent as well, which I really like. And then the last one is Wicked Pink. And this is a, actually, I mixed Pink Coquette with Wicked Pink once as well. This one's a pretty bright pink. Right there. So that one is Wicked Pink, Pink Coquette, Rebel Rose, Coral Confession, um, Poison Nectar, and Guilty Angel. And I love them. I love these lipsticks. I also decided to try the Ardency Inn Monster Pigments. They, they came in a special little duo, and I believe the price was slightly cheaper for these. I've never tried the Ardency Inn eyeshadows, and so I thought this would be a good way to do it. And I like the colors that were included in there, so this is the box. And the shades that came in there are rose gold. This is what it looks like right there. I've packed it on the lid, and it's really, really pretty. So that's the rose gold one. And then the other one that comes in that duo is called Sunday. That is what Sunday looks like. That took too much. But these are supposed to be infused with like Manuka honey, I believe. And something that I like about the packaging on these is they are magnetized in here. So if you want to pop these out into a Z palette, they pop out really nice. I also purchased a Bite Beauty lipstick, and this is in the shade Quinta. Oh, you can read that. Q-U-I-N-T-A. This is what Quinta looks like. It's like a pretty coral rose color. So watch it. Right there. And then when I was down south, the Sephora that I went into had a Surat display. And I swatched a couple things on there and wrote down one or two items that I wanted during the sale. And this was one of them. This is the Lip Slick in the shade Bon Bon. And it's a really pretty baby pink color. That is what she looks like. This here, I've noticed it like clicks upwards, but it doesn't click back down. So I've got to be careful not to turn it too far up. But it's a really shiny, um, glossy type of a lip. Lip Slick. <laughs> Kind of looks similar to what I have on, but... Then I was browsing in the sales section, and I had seen this, I believe it was on Instagram somewhere, that this was supposed to be a, I think, a European exclusive product, but I saw it on the sales section, so I got it on sale, and then I got it on 20% off, too, off the sale price. <laughs> so this is the Sephora Sun Disc, and it says limited edition, it's just called Sun Disc, I guess, and it looks like that. It's just a big old bronzer. I didn't even put my hands in here, but I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> oh, it doesn't pull. I thought with the veining of the orange, it might pull a little orange, but it doesn't, it doesn't look so bad. I also purchased this set from Buxom called Look All You Want, and it's one of their new shadow compacts with the little individual shadows inside. And what got me <laughs> was there's four limited edition shades in here. And also the cute little packaging on here. And this is $40, which is the, I believe, what it costs to fill up and purchase one of these in, a, in, a, in itself. And then you get a deluxe size mascara and a full size eyeliner. Those are both in black. But this is what the palette looks like. And this shade right here, whoa, there went the applicator. No, this shade right here, I just really wanted it. The Opal Opulent Sequin Sparkle Top Shelf and Penthouse are um, limited edition shades. The Style Icon, which this is a beautiful color as well, and Gimme Gorgeous are in the permanent line. But I have not used this yet. I've swatched this. This is another product that I swatched in store. I don't know how many times before I was like, just get it already. <laughs> See, that color is so pretty. I'll swatch these guys as well for you. It's 
it's like a little festive color set. I think this these would look really pretty on Christmas for sure. I also purchased the Syat and Olivia Palermo palettes. There's two of them and I went ahead and I purchased them both. Like Curiosity totally got me on these. The packaging is really sleek and it's also a nice plastic. It's got a nice weight to it and the colors inside of these are really, really beautiful. There is a mirror up there. Um, I've used both of these I think two or three times now and they're really pretty. The colors like this is a palette like if you wanted to wear like a little bit of green or a little bit of blue, you're not going to have to worry about wearing green or blue eyeshadow. Um, the looks came out pretty, but one thing I can say about this is I, I was expecting a little bit more oomph from both of them. Um, and then too, when you push your brush in here, there is, it's, it's a mess inside of here and I got fallout with, each time I've used these I've gotten fallout all over my face. But the colors are really pretty inside and I do like the packaging as well. Here's a, let's swatch this guy as well. So you can see they're like, like a little bit like subdued color. I think if you, you know, you're a little afraid of color, you might like something like this. Did I tell you what that one is? That one's the Smoldering Eye Palette. And then the other one is the Smoky Suede Eye Palette. This one's really pretty as well. I should hold them up next to each other because like when you look at them individually, they almost look like there's a lot of similarities between the two. So if I hold them up together, you guys may be able to see a little better. There are some. So the top one is the Smoky Suede's eye palette and the bottom one is the Smoldering eye palette. If you guys can see up close. And I do, I like them, but I'm not nuts about them. And they're really messy. <laughs> And then lastly, I picked up nine of the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows in the matte formula. I've, like, when I went traveling with that palette, I really realized how much I love those eyeshadows. And so I got an idea in my mind. <laughs> I went I went so far as to even make a spreadsheet because it's a little difficult to keep track of these because they, they just got the numbers printed on the back with all, you know, letters and numbers, which can get a little confusing. So I could see which ones I had and which ones I hadn't because I really like them. And then I can put them in a palette to be able to visually see them. So that's kind of what I did. And then today, Cyber Monday, um, Sephora released a big uh, 30 shade palette as well and I purchased that and I, I had already <laughs> planned on purchasing it so I'd already put it in the um, spreadsheet that I made totally nerded out anyway <laughs> um, these are the first ones I'll show you guys this one here I blended out right with this one up through my up through there today and then I used this one right here underneath the brow I've worn these a couple times now I love them let me swatch the two that I've got on today for you. I gotta pull them out of here. So this one is M810 right here and these are all gonna be matte eyeshadows and that is like my skin color <laughs> and then this one is M816 this is the one I used to blend out right there I think I forgot to tell you guys the point of my whole spreadsheet I'm on a mission to get all the mattes for starters <laughs> and then maybe I'll go to a different finish but I love the mattes and then this one is M870. Right there. And then I've got M820. And then this is the other color that I'm wearing through the crease. This is M844. This color really surprised me when I put it on because it looks more burgundy in the pan. But when I had gotten it on my crease, it like pulls, it pulls more this really pretty burgundy purple. It's a gorgeous color. So that's M844. And then this one is M860. Obviously, I started off with like the <laughs> pinky family. <laughs> and then this one is M510. Oh, another one that's going to be hard to see against my uh, skin tone. But this one is M738. Where did I put that other swatch? I can't see. <laughs> And then the last one that I purchased during the sale is M856. And some of these do look similar, but they look different when you blend them out on the eyes. 
and I've worn them all and I've been loving I've been really loving um, Makeup Geeks is it called Black Light one of her dual dual chrome shadows on the lid with like these burgundy purples through the crease that's that's what I have on right now I just I've been loving it so there's everything I purchased during the Sephora VIB sale I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful thank you for watching do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later bye